How cool is this? How's it going everybody? Greg here with RC Driver and as you can see I'm back with the Tamiya Dancing Rider. This time it's built. Yes, I just spent, well, about an hour and a half building it. I built it last night while watching TV with my wife. It was an episode of Blacklist and another one of Big Bang Theory. So I was like an hour and a half in total, just in case you guys were wondering what I watched at night. But uh, yeah, it was that easy to build. I literally sat on my couch and had a little side table in front of me and just built it right there. I had a lot of fun building it. It is very easy to build. There is a lot of cool little details and features on this vehicle. And that's what I'm going to go over today. While building it, there was these times where I'm like, wow, that's just pretty neat how Tamiya did that. And that's kind of what a lot of Tamiya kits are about. There's these little design elements. And, and I kind of like the design elements of different vehicles. That's kind of what I geek out on. Uh, when reviewing RC cars and there are just a couple of neat things on this vehicle that I can't wait to tell you guys about. But actually, you know, let's just start off with the outside of the vehicle since uh, I have it all together. Then I'm going to bring it over to the workbench, show you guys what's underneath the hood. Uh, but as you could see, I just went with a solid red color and, it, and to me it gives you all these decals like I showed you in the unboxing uh, to make this radio controlled uh, Japanese delivery trike uh, really stand out. It is a, it's got a really neat look to it. Uh, they gave you the window mask. The window mask worked really well. And, and what I did actually, uh, after I did paint the red, I sprayed it white and then I sprayed it black. So the interior is black on this particular vehicle. Uh, but you know, you can go with a solid color. I'm sure it would still look really good. And then I sprayed the Wild Willy figure uh, with some Tamiya paints as well. Uh, threw a primer on it, a Tamiya primer. Sprayed the helmet silver, did a little hand painting. I did pretty well. I'm not that great of a model. Uh, painter when it comes to hand brushing. But I think he came out pretty good and I don't see him complaining in there. Uh, so anyway, the other detail to mention was is the, the holes were pre-drilled uh, right here. So that was really neat. All I had to do was cut out the rest of the body and all I did to do that was just score on the lines and then just broke off the excess plastic and it came out really, really cool. Now you can see from the outside of the body here, it does have these little nerf guards and that acts as the, the body retainer. Uh, it's on both sides. Then obviously you see the front fork, uh, you know, it's got a fender on there. And then, you know, of course it's got this little rear section and this is the rear transmission pod here. It's even got this little deck on the back. It looks pretty neat. We'll see that when I pull the body off and then it's got the M series tires on it. And then it has little arms just sticking out of the side. And we're going to see what those do because that is what helps self right the vehicle when you roll it over. All right, enough of the outside. Let's go take a look at the inside. Obviously we've been over the body. Now let me show you how easy it is to take off. Basically, it's just these four body clips right here and these little Nerf wings, they do come off. And once those are off, you could go and just pull the body apart and pull it off. All right, and obviously right underneath, you see the Wild Willy driver. And I think I did a pretty good job painting him. What do you think? Well, let me know in the comments section below. Uh, so anyway, let's start off up front here. So obviously we have this uh, trike wheel, uh, the front trike wheel, and it does kind of look like a, a wheel that you would find on the front of a, a trike or even a motorcycle. Uh, pretty soft rubber. Uh, I didn't even bother to glue it. There's no insert on the inside, uh, but uh, it's got this neat five spoke wheel. It's got a little slant to the spoke. Uh, and then obviously it's got this front fender on there and uh, just two screws hold that on, kind of helps support everything as well. Um, and then we have the front forks and the front forks are, are three pieces. So you got this upper portion here and then you have the two lower posts and, and it is spring loaded. There's long shoulder screws in there and then springs inside. And I did note in the instruction manual, there's an option for that to, to add uh, O-rings to this. And then I guess add a little bit of oil. Uh, we'll definitely check that out in the future because I doubt this thing is going to remain stock. Hopefully to me, it comes out with some neat options for it. Uh, one of the options I think they do have is an LED light set for it. And that's what this uh, bar is right here hanging out. Uh, this is where you put your LED lights. And uh, on the front of the body, there is actually, here, let me grab the body. There are actually light masks that come with the body. So you could have the headlights clear uh, and then they give you two headlight decals. So this is the opaque decal, but they have a, a transparent decal that lets the LED light shine through there. Uh, so that's the LED mount. And then right behind it, uh, at the top of the forks here, uh, we have a, a little spring that keeps the front assembly centered. So as you can see, it pops back and forth there. Just a, a little spring. You got to uh, load the tension on it. So when it's leaning, it allows the wheels to turn. And then it just uh, goes back to neutral when, when the bike is standing up. Uh, and then as we move back, you could you could start to see the frame here. 
And uh, we saw those parts in the unboxing. It's, it's quite a large piece uh, that makes up the chassis uh, or the frame of this bike. Uh, but down in here is where the battery goes. So what they have for the battery uh, release is this clip right here. And you pop this out. And so once you pop that clip out, you could just slide this post out here. And then you access your battery below. And uh, this is where things could get a little tricky for some people. Uh, battery options are... Uh, from what I understand, a little limited right now. Let me show you what I'm going to use to start off. So I'm actually going to use this Lifey pack that I found uh, in my collection here. It's actually a receiver pack, but a Lifey pack is something that to me recommends. I do believe Venom has one as well, actually with larger wires. Uh, from what I understand from Tamiya, what they told me was, is the motor is a very low amp draw motor, so I shouldn't have any problems running these smaller receiver type wires on it. Um, but, uh, this, this will definitely get me going. Uh, I heard the other option was to run double a batteries. Uh, so that's an option as well. If you can't find a battery, uh, but I'm sure, uh, people are going to start to figure out more battery options for this vehicle. Uh, but this is what I'm going to run to start with in, in video number three for the action video. All right, now let's get back to the bike itself. So there's our frame and it, it actually has this little deck right here that mounts to the back of the frame and that's your electronic support. Now it does not come with these electronics. I actually had to rip these out of another Tamiya model that I have here for review that's coming up very soon. Uh, so as soon as I'm done with these electronics, I'm gonna go back into the other car so I could review that. But as you can see, it fits a pretty decent size speed controller. Uh, there's the receiver right there. That's a Tamiya receiver. And then back over here is the on off switch. And uh, I might swap out the plugs depending on uh, what I do with the battery. But uh, right under here, under the guy, this is where the servo slides in and it actually slides in from the top and then is secure with two screws on each side. Um, and it, if you can see right in here, this is the steering assembly. So it's got this very wide servo horn style bell crank and it is a servo saver. It does have Tamiya's uh, three ring servo saver in there to help damp any, any hits to the uh, servo to make sure nothing happens to it and then it runs down to here and as you can see it connects to the push bar and this is the push bar that will help roll the trike back over if you do flip it and then let me show you the other side here because this is where the important part happens this is your steering link so it goes from the servo saver down to the transmission case and you can see it down there there's a pivot over here uh, inside here there's some bushings and then it's just a rod pivot um, and it allows everything to move uh, as you steer. So let's say you want to go and, and steer the vehicle. Obviously you use the input on your radio system and as you can see everything twists and that's what makes this vehicle steer which is really cool. It's a really neat setup uh, but what also happens is you can see that arm moving. So let's say you do roll the vehicle over. So as you roll it over what you could do rock your steering back and forth and that should help right the vehicle. And then these little end tabs are actually adjustable too. They're, they're keyed um, so you could move those out or move those in depending on uh, what you feel you need to help roll the vehicle back over. So then one other thing to note back here is the rear does have uh, some suspension to it. It is a, a spring-loaded uh, cam type of setup, which is really interesting. Um, this is one of those interesting design features I was telling you about. It's located right in here. So there's actually a, a spring inside this barrel and a cam. As you can see, the rear end just pivots on this barrel. Um, and then if you look closely, you could also see there is a set screw in there. And adjusting that set screw puts tension on the spring inside this barrel uh, that pushes on a cam uh, and, and then just basically uh, adjusts the spring tension for the rear. So you have some adjustability there. That's a, it's a pretty neat little feature, pretty neat little setup. Uh, and then we have a Tamiya 380 can motor, just a basic motor. Uh, it does come with the bullet plugs, which made it up pretty well uh, to the, the Tamiya speed controller. Got this little rear deck on here. And then there's a series of gears inside. Uh, as I mentioned in the unboxing, there is bushings in the kit. Uh, I stuck with the bushings. We'll just run those for the test. And then there is a gear differential. It's a planetary gear differential uh, with little short aluminum axles that go out to the wheel hexes. Uh, and then obviously we've got the M-Series wheels on the back. Didn't even bother to glue those. Uh, it doesn't come with inserts, but doesn't seem like it's really going to need it. All right, so I think I got it all covered. Uh, again, it's just a really neat looking vehicle. Really neat design, compact, 
Uh, it's pretty neat how this battery door just drops down and so you get access your battery. Um, and it's got this little cradle in here that kind of floats around. Just neat little features. They give you some extra posts just in case these posts uh, do break for some reason. And again, it was just a fun, super easy project to build. I mean, I think I spent more time painting the body and painting the guy than I did actually building the vehicle. And so far, this trike is getting a lot of attention. We've put it on our social media pages and it's getting a great response. <laughs> Okay guys, I hope that run through on the Tamiya Dancing Riders features really got you hooked on this machine. I really think, you know, if you had one of these, you would have a lot of fun with it. It's just one of those breakaway vehicles, break away from the norm, and just do something different in RC and have, some, have fun with it. I think a lot of people are going to have these in their collections. So there is a part three to this video series. So if you haven't done so yet, please hit that subscribe button and hit that notifications bell. That way you get notified when this video pops up in your feed uh, and you don't miss it. And while you're at it, throw the video a like. And when you have some time, head over to rcdriver.com for some more RC information.